Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you some of the built-in tools that really come in handy when customizing your slides in ProShow 5. When working in slide options, rather than repeatedly opening and closing the slide options window for each slide that you wish to work on, try using the slide options toolbar. This is one of the best time-saving features in ProShow, as it allows you to perform a variety of functions without having to open, close, and then reopen the slide options window. You'll find the slide options toolbar at the very bottom of the slide options window. Let's begin by taking a look at the options that are available in both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer. Starting from the left side of the slide options toolbar, your first option is the ability to move between slides. Simply click on the left and right arrow icons to move one slide backward or forward in your show. With each click, you'll have access to all the slide options for the next or previous slide, without having to close and then reopen the window. If you get a little lost and you're not sure which slide you're currently working on, all you need to do is take a look at the slide settings, located at the top left of the window. It will show you which slide you're currently working with. Next, you'll find the playback controls. Click the arrow to preview any changes you make to your slides. You'll notice that this arrow changes into a stop icon during playback. To stop the preview, simply click the icon again. From the slide options toolbar, you can also set your slide times. When you click on this icon, you'll see a window appear that allows you to see and change the times for the transition in slide time, and transition out for the slide. And as you type in new values, you'll be able to keep track of the change in total slide time, down on the left-hand side of the window. The next option you'll find is the ability to change the slide options window size. The settings icon looks like a gear. When you click on this icon, you'll see a variety of different sizes that you can choose for the slide options window. You can set it to a minimum size or have it completely fill your screen, giving you more room to work on your slides. The available sizes are based on your monitor or laptop screen resolution. In addition to changing the size of the slide options window, you can also access the same preview options you'll find when you right click in the preview, such as showing composition lines or the save zone for your show. To the right of the settings icon, you also have the ability to adjust the preview canvas size. This really comes in handy when you need to view or control objects as they fly in or out off the screen. Simply use the zoom slider or type in a value. Once zoomed out, any objects that appear in the gray area of the canvas are not visible within your slide. Another slide options toolbar selection becomes available when you select the effects tab. In between the settings and preview canvas size options, you'll find the copy settings tools. From here, you can copy motion settings from the beginning or end of your effects for each layer, copy those settings to the next or previous slides, or even copy entire layers between slides. These options really come in handy and can help you save time when you're making precision effects or making effects that span multiple slides. If you're using ProShow Producer, the first thing that you'll notice is that all of your slide options tools are available regardless of which tab is selected. The next thing you'll notice is that you'll have some additional tools available. In between the slide time and settings icons, you'll find the option to open the keyframe editor. This is a fantastic tool for precisely lining up keyframes when you have multiple layers on a slide. Additional options found in producer slide option toolbar are even more choices for copying settings. From the submenus that appear, you can choose to copy captions and layers between slides, or choose the Copy Settings option for even more advanced copy options, including copying specific layer settings and even keyframes between other layers and slides within your show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel, or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.